Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about how you can deal with parametric equations in Mathematica. So parametric equations of a curve are given by these two equations. You already know about the parametric equations. So x coordinate is t to the power 4 minus 3t square and y equals to t. So t is our parameter here. So these two equations represent a single curve in 2D. So let's plot that curve. So to plot parametric equations, you have to write parametric plot. So write parametric plot and inside the square bracket, give a list and first give the x coordinate t to the power 4 minus 3t squared. So you have to put that first, the x coordinate. And then the second one y goes to t so i have to give a comma and write t and close the list and then you have to give the range of the parameter the t so say uh, t goes from uh, minus 2 to 2 and this is our curve now x and y are the values of the curve so if you want to change the range of x and y here then you have to change the plot range. So range of x is from minus 2 to 4 and range of y is from minus 2 to 2. So if you want to change it to say minus 5 to 5, both x and y, then write plot range inside parametric plot and give minus 5 comma 5. So this will change the range of x and y, both x and y. To minus 5 to 5 we can also give different ranges for x and y so to do that uh, you have to give two lists inside plot range uh, so give a list and inside that list uh, give two lists one for x axis and another one for y axis let's take x from minus 4 to 4 and y from minus 3 to 3 and keep that two list inside another list so we will get uh, the range of x from minus 4 to 4 and range of y from minus 3 to 3 so to plot two dimensional parametric plot uh, you have to give the x and y coordinate uh, in a list and then give the range of uh, the parameter and this will plot the parametric plot in 2d graph So let's move on you guys already know how uh, to find area under the curve uh, so we are given a curve represented by these parametric equations and we have to find the area enclosed by this uh, this curve and the x-axis so let's first plot this curve so parametric uh, plot So write parametric plot and t cubed plus 1 uh, and 2t minus t squared in a list. Then we have to give a suitable range for t. Uh, we need the intersection points so let's change the range of t. Let's take from minus 2 to 3. Let's take 2.5. Alright. So, you have to find the area enclosed by the curve and x-axis. So, you have to find the uh, this enclosed region find the area of this region so what is the formula the formula is y dx to find the area enclosed by the curve and x-axis and we have to integrate y dx from x equals to a to x equals to b so the two intersection points are the limits so this point is x equals to a and this point is x equals to b but we are given the parametric equations here so we can replace dx with dt so in that case we have to differentiate x equals to t cubed plus 1 with respect to t 
So we'll get 3t squared. So dx is 3t squared dt. So we can replace dx with 3t squared dt. And we can also replace y with the value of y which is 2t minus t squared. But in that case, we have to integrate over t. So we need the limits for t. So in those two intersection points, we have to find the value of t. So if we set y equals to 0, because on the x-axis, uh, y is 0, and we are given y equals to 2t minus t squared. So if we set y equals to 0 and find t, then we'll get the two intersection points, the value of t for those two intersection points. So we can solve uh, y equals to 0 and find t. So let's solve. So y is 2t minus t squared. So 2t minus t squared is 0 on the x-axis. Double equals to 0. And we want to know t. So you can see the intersection points at t equals to 0 and t equals to 2. So now you can just plug the values in the formula. So 0 to 2 and y is uh, 2t minus t squared. And dx is equals to 3t squared dt. So we have to uh, write 3t squared dt. So we just uh, put the value of y equals to 2t minus t squared and uh, replace dx with dt, 3t squared dt and found the limit for t and if we press shift enter now we'll get the area so this is the area of the enclosed uh, region area of this region let's move on now we will solve the problem regarding the length of the parametric curve so x and y coordinates of the path of a rabbit is given by the same parametric equations uh, so if you see the graph now, so this line is now the path of a rabbit. So rabbit is walking on this line from this point to this point. Let's now look at the question again. So here parameter t is the time in seconds. So x is the x coordinate uh, at time t and so x equals to t cubed plus 1 is the x coordinate at time t and y equals to 2t minus t squared is the y coordinate at, at time t. And you have to find the distance covered by the rabbit in first 2 seconds. So at time t equals to 2 we have to find uh, how much distance the rabbit has covered. So we know for these two points at t equals to 0 and t equals to 2, so we have to find the distance of this uh, of this arc from t equals to 0 to t equals to 2. So in that case, we have to find the length of this curve from t equals to 0 to t equals to 2. So how to find the length of a parametric uh, curve? So the formula is uh, straightforward uh, from a to b. Uh, so a and b are the limits of t and we need to find the dx by dt and dy by dt So let's find the derivative so t cubed plus 1 comma t And then uh, d 
uh, 2t minus t squared comma t to find the dy by dt so we have the derivatives now so let's plug in the derivatives uh, in the formula so the limits of t is from 0 to 2 because we are finding the uh, distance covered in first 2 seconds so t time equals to 0 seconds to time equals to 2 seconds and inside the square root we have to write 3t squared whole squared plus 2 minus 2t whole squared so the output is um, 8.7 I took the numerical value now parametric equations of a semicircle x equals to r cos t y equals to r sin t so obviously t is the angle here and for semicircle t is from 0 to uh, pi and r is the radius and if you rotate this semicircle about x axis we will get a sphere and we have to find the area uh, of the surface of the sphere so about x axis the formula uh, is twice pi y ds we know but for parametric equations there is only one ds this one so let's write the expression so the angle is from 0 to pi t is the angle and twice by y uh, and y is we know r sin t and ds is uh, square root and i will take the derivative inside the square root so d and inside the square bracket uh, x is r cos t So r cos t and square. So I have to take the square of this thing, uh, the derivative plus. Again, we have to take the derivative of y with respect to t. So d r sine t comma t. And we have to square that as well. And we are integrating over t. So this completes the expression. And if we press shift enter now, we get 4 pi r squared. So 4 pi r squared is the surface area of a sphere. For rotation about y axis, uh, you have to use the formula twice by x ds. Everything is quite similar, just use that formula. Previously, we were given the path of a rabbit in two dimension, and here the path of the particle is given in three dimension. You can see the x, y, and z coordinates are given, and there is one single parameter t. So we have to plot the path of the particle for t goes from 0 to twice pi so how we can do that so in that case we have to use parametric plot 3d because this is a three dimensional graph and again similarly inside the list first give the x coordinate and then y coordinate to sine t and then the z coordinate and we have to give the range uh, for t which is 0 to twice pi so this is the path of the particle in three dimension Here we have another set of parametric equations for three dimension, but now we have two parameters, theta and phi. So for two parameters, uh, we will get a surface. Previously for one parameter, we got a line in three dimension, but for two parameter, we will get a surface. 
So I defined x, y, and z variables as the expressions. And we have to give the range of theta from 0 to pi. And range of phi from 0 to twice pi. And I used a color function, a rainbow. And set the background as light blue. And x is false. And if you don't want to see the box in the graph, set boxed false. So this is a uh, graph of an ellipsoid. So those are the parameter equations of an ellipsoid. Now let's see a polar equation. Uh, how you can plot a polar equation in Mathematica. So graph the curve r equals to sine twice theta. So you can see this is a polar equation. r is the radius and theta. Uh, r is a function of theta. Theta is the angle. So I can plot this polar equation in Mathematica. So the range of theta is from 0 to twice pi. Let's take this uh, in the text mode. So to plot a polar equation, you have to write uh, polar plot. So i is a function of theta. So you have to identify that this is a polar equation first and then uh, write polar plot. And instead of polar plot, just write the function sine twice theta. You don't have to write the equation. Just write sine uh, twice theta. And uh, if you write sine twice theta inside the polar plot, Mathematica will understand that this is a polar function r equals to sine twice theta. And set the range of theta from 0 to twice pi. So this is the graph of r equals to sine twice theta. Now if you want to add another uh, polar equation in the graph, so just uh, give a list and inside the list add another polar equation. Say I want to add uh, r equals to 2 cos theta. And then close the list and this will plot the two polar equations in a single graph so also you can use plot legends here to see which uh, function is which to choose expressions so that's it see you in the next class